Now, the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and get yourself a new project with these settings right here. And once you've got yourself a new project, we're going to right click in here, go to new and get yourself a solid. With this new solid, we're going to right click on here, go to pre comp and just call this anything that you want. So I'm just going to call it cylinder. In here, we're going to open this up and you just want to delete this solid right here. The reason for this is because we can now go up to a composition at the top and go down to the settings. You just want to copy and paste the width into the height. This will create us this nice square box that we can work in. We need to bring back the solid. And we're going to apply an effect called odometer. Now this is a paid plugin. However, if you use the trial version, you can do everything that I'm doing in this video today, because I'm also using a trial version. But once you've got yourself the plugin, you want to drag this onto your solid and straight away, you're going to get this message, which will say there is nothing on the screen to display. And what we need to do is we need to tell the odometer that we want to have four columns with no separators. We can then go ahead and click on create. And as you can see, we now have this really small font right here. What we need to do now is upscale this times two and then upscale it times two once again, so we can actually see it. And we're just going to position this and directly center the numbers. And if you want to remove the background, you want to scroll down onto the odometer, go to the layout, open up the background fill and set the opacity to 0%. From here, we can disable the transparency mode. And what we want to do now is we want to expand the height so we can actually see the columns. If you go over to the left side and you start to increase the percentage for the height, you will see that this will start to reveal the actual column itself, and you can see the other numbers in that specific column. A perfect number for this is 1144. We're also going to change the uniform scale to 89.50. Once you've done that, we're also going to select ourselves the solid. You want to press R on your keyboard and set the rotation to 90 degrees. You can actually open up the odometer texture and in here you will have the grid with the number column, you'll have the letters, special characters and so much more. And we can customize this by getting ourselves a background like this one for example. You want to apply it onto your timeline and drag this all the way down to the bottom and make sure it's above the grid. And as you can see, we now have this nice looking background. We can also change the font by holding shift, left click on the zero and left click on the nine. You then want to change the font to anything that you want. So for me, I really like this unispace. From here, we can close this down. This will then apply it onto the columns. And from here, we can change the position by setting the first one to 1378.7 and the second one to 2115.8 and this will just place the columns directly in the center giving us five columns on the left and five columns on the right sometimes it may cut it off like the right side and the left side but that's completely fine because we can simply press s for scale and set this to 107 and this will just fit it back onto the screen, allowing us to move on to the next step, which is to turn on the transparency mode. We want to go back onto comp one. And from here, all we need to do now is simply apply an effect called CC cylinder. What this will do is it will wrap this on to the columns and we can now go to the rotation and set the Z rotation to minus 90. This will flip it back on its side and we can now change the Y rotation, which will allow us to focus on the main row, which is the zero. And if you want to, you can also apply yourself a X rotation as well, which will give you this really cool looking 3D view of your cylinder. From here, if you want to, you can also disable the transparency mode. And if you really wanted to make the back one fade into the background, all you need to do is open up the cylinder and get yourself a solid in here. 
and apply it onto the bottom of these layers. You then want to set the opacity to 80%. And if you go back onto comp one, you can see this will make it faded. And finally, if you wanted to animate this, all you need to do now is go onto the cylinder. You want to select yourself the second solid, and we're just going to set the first number to zero, zero. You want to go further out and then set your specific combination. So let's say we wanted it to be 7755. What this will do is it'll make these numbers shift up and down or left and right in this case, up until it reaches your specific number combination. You can also go back onto the comp one and have a look what it's going to look like in the 3D view. And you can see this will nicely rotate up until it reaches that specific number combination. Another thing that I like to do is I also like to set the X rotation to zero, go to the beginning of the project and then set a keyframe go further out and set this to 30. And this will give it a nice rotation as the columns are spinning. 